What is up, YouTube? How you doing? This is uh, Dave here. It is, uh, I have no idea what day it is. I think it's two, uh, Thursday, Thursday night. There you go. I need to get some sleep. Anyway, it is Thursday, and um, finally got uh, one of the more exciting packages in today. Uh, and uh, it's sitting right here. There's actually two packages, but there's a whole bunch of boxes as part of that. So what I'm going to do is uh, adjust the camera down a little bit so we can kind of see what's going on on the table here. But uh, here is package one, one, and two. What is in these packages? Well, these packages are from PNR Fabrication. And if you are a CTSV guy, then you are familiar with PNR. But uh, what this is, is um, a spare tire wheel well ice tank. And it's a, a seven gallon tank. So let's get her open. I didn't even realize how close to me this guy was. Let me just get this uh, drill here. Uh, believe it or not, I'm trying to clean up again. <laughs> See how long that lasted. But, um, okay, so we got a lot of different stuff in here, but here's the main tank. What this baby is, and it's very light, <laughs> so we can kind of, woo, it's, it's, the front of it is not light though. But what this is, is, and I don't know how well you can see this. Let me just check the camera real quick. We can see, eh, it's eh, not too bad. I'll just adjust it a little bit. There you go. Sorry about the noise. Um, he got all wrapped up. The guy is in Atco, so Atco right near the racetrack. I could have, I could have drove there and picked it up from him. I didn't realize where he was located. But so what this is is a seven-gallon tank that will mount in my spare tire well. Duh. So what we got here is a gorgeous anodized tank. Uh, man, I'm getting more and more excited to <laughs> uh, hold this, man. So it's got that the see-through lid, and uh, it's gonna allow me to see, put the ice in and everything. And and I don't know how well we can get in there. Let me see, I'm gonna have to step behind the camera here a little bit to see. The lighting's not great, but you can kind of see right there, there's a mesh there to keep the ice from getting sucked down in the pickup. But uh, what this baby has on it is, um, the uh, 12 AN lines so that um, I can use three quarter inch um, hoses the entire way. So, and then what we got on front, sorry, it's got the hardware. Wow, you even gave me a hardware. Damn, that's nice. Man, Paul, shout out to Paul from uh, PNR Fabrication, PNR Welding. Sorry, is that wrong. It's actually PNR Welding right there at the bottom of your screen. Um, and here's his insignia. Sorry, the thing's sweating. It's so, it was so cold in my house. But uh, there's his uh, logo, and I have the, um, it has the pickup tube here, it's a one inch. So what they do is they bring, they bring off the tank, they do a 90 degree fitting, and they give you uh, one inch into the, um, the uh, EMP pump. Now this is a you know, very, very high flow, um, high volume um, water pump. And the reason why I went with this, and it is very expensive, but the reason I went with this is because this is going in the trunk, and I, I can't have this thing fail while I'm dry around. So I, you know, I have a couple of different pumps, but especially what's inside of that um, Rule 2000 tank, and I'm sorry, you're listening to me talk here, not actually seeing me talk, but um, let me, uh, I'll bring it up again so you can actually see my ugly mug. But um, main reason I went with that pump is because in the... Um, the other tank, the other uh, aluminum tank that I have over there, uh, it has a Rule 2000 pump. And that's fine if you're a drag racer uh, because it's not running a continuous, you know, continuous duty cycle. Uh, those pumps are not made to do that. So that you can get away with it for a while on the street, especially if you size the lines right, but those things always have problems. They always burn out. Since this car, since the Cutlass, will more than likely be more of a drag car and less on the street. I may get away with that for a while, but more than likely I'm gonna have Paul build me another one of these. So uh, I'm really excited. So, so what we got going on here is it's um, one inch into the pump. And let me bring you back down again. Sorry for the, the movement here, but we got um, <clears throat> one inch into the pump and then three quarter inch. This will run all the way to the front. So like if this is the front of the car, then um, this will be situated in a trunk like this. And then, uh, so when this thing ac accelerates, all the fluid will slosh towards uh, this direction. So um, what I'm gonna do is get this back inside the, uh, the uh, just kind of put it over here on the plastic to get it out of the way. 
And then what he does is he gives you, and let me see, I gotta find a, uh, uh, straight edge, yeah, I'm sorry, a, a razor blade here, but he gives you an installation kit for this whole thing. So he already mounted the pump for me, and uh, let me just put that there. <clears throat> but what he gives you, he gives you damn, he gives you everything. Like, he gives you everything to install. So, so basically, I'm gonna put this. This is my little bit of feed that I gotta put off the front of the pump. So I'll run this off the pump, and then I'm gonna put uh, the line, you'll see this giant line here, in this other box and he gives you install instructions and he gives you the wiring harness with it man like you don't even have to freaking think you literally all i have to do you know and there's three it's literally three wire hookup one's power one's a switched and one's your ground so uh what you end up doing is probably going 12 volts to this and i may have it ass backwards but let me hold on let me look it's probably why the why the piece of paper's in the box nah nah but i'll check it out on the mp's website and he gave me a bunch of other stuff too but uh you know, it's just, it's power ground and you're switched at your ignition. So, so that the damn thing's not running all day long. And then he gives you the entire installation kit for clamps to put, put everything up. He gives you a drain for it. So I got the drain on the front of this thing. Oh my God, I'm getting giddy, man. Now I just got to get the damn blower up in this joint and I'm good to go. But, um, this, all the install kit and I'll do a, I'll do a comprehensive install on this. But what I'm going to do is pull my spare tire. Out. And I'll put it in the trunk if I'm going for a long ride. I don't know if you can see me, but uh, what I'll end up doing is pulling the uh, spare tire and leaving it here for the most part. Um, but then what this will allow me to do is still have a trunk floor. So if I need to go somewhere and I need a spare tire, I could throw it in the trunk. Um, so that's that. And then this other box here is, is what comes with it. The install kit. Mm, see, I don't know. There's, there's so much in here. I don't want to muck around with it. But this, okay, this is good enough. This is the really high quality insulated black heater hose so this is the stuff three quarter inch this will run up to the blower and i'm getting the fittings for the blower put on so i'm going to actually just have you know i'm just going to end up having the uh an fittings put on the front and then i'll use the same type of thing that we have here uh to um like what i have on the blower i'm sorry like what i have on the tank here to um install it on the blower so like i couldn't be happier this is a hell of a quality kit is it expensive? Yes, it is expensive. Everything that you get here is is depending on how you do what you'd go with with the pump and everything. This is not a cheap pump. This is like a four to five hundred dollar pump. Okay, so that'll tell you what the territory this this whole setup is in. But he anodizes it for you, and uh, the quality is fantastic on this. I mean, you're probably paying a little bit of Cadillac tax for that for this as well. But you know what? It's goddamn worth it because this is beautiful. I am ridiculously excited about this. So, um, if you need a if you need a, a, an ice tank and um, you're looking for somebody to fab you up something that'll fit beautifully in your car, uh, you know, give a shout out. I'm giving it to a PNR Welding at www.pnrwelding.net, and his email address I'll show it again below is pnrwelding at gmail.com. His name is Paul, and uh, Paul, if you see this. Kick-ass job, dude. I'm going to do an install video um, probably this weekend on it just to have everything kind of in because I'm going to have to probably pop the car, you know, lift the car up uh, to kind of start running the lines. But uh, I am very, very happy. Awesome product. Highly recommend it. And I haven't even installed the damn thing yet. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. This is about to get a whole lot more interesting. Thanks to the new subscribers. People down in North Carolina, be safe. North Carolina, South Carolina, be safe. Um, thoughts and prayers out to you guys, and thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Take care.